Hi and welcome to Learn Cocos TV episode number nine. Today is Easter Monday and I'm presenting you with a Easter egg episode or Easter nut episode. I started writing the third edition of Learn Cocos TD. Um, it'll be out um, probably in August and it's going to cover Cocos 2D version 2.0 all the way. Um, I also strive to make it fully Cobol 2D compatible so you can read the book and um, create the projects in Cobol 2D instead of Cocos 2D and um, also all of the code is 100% ARC automatic reference counting enabled. So um, what does that look like? I'll show you the um, docs that I'm working on. I'm actually using Microsoft Word for this. I mean, I have to. <laughs> what else can I say? So one of the things that I changed for chapter two is I added this, um, what I also have on the website, the uh, how to enable ARC in a Cocos 2D project uh, heading um, with um, lots of plenty of images so you know exactly what to do to enable ARC. I will also um, provide uh, template projects for Cocos 2D which are ARC enabled um, so you don't necessarily have to do all this stuff. And um, in chapter 3 um, I introduce you to um, blocks, see what you can do with it. Um, for example in this case uh, menu items with blocks as described in here. I also give you a, sm a small uh, intro to block programming and i would also cover the call block actions um, which are basically replacements um, or the more modern versions for the call func actions. I also go into detail on the orientation because I changed a bit uh, in um, Cocos 2D 2.0. You use interface orientation now and there's no device orientation anymore in the director. And well a couple other changes um, throughout of course um, updated tables, updated everything basically all the code to ARC and of course um, if I go to Xcode um, you'll see this is the Essentials project from Chapter 3 and it's the regular Cocos 2D project with ARC enabled and works as it should. Let's see, yep there it is. So nothing new here, just uh, this is mostly for the code not for the looks and um, <clears throat> I also provide the same code as a Cobol 2D project which is uh, here and um, this here is for example um, just a bunch of examples on how to write uh, block functions, how to use them including uh, using a type def to define the block variable and a preprocessor macro to define the implementation so you can uh, if you use the same block over and over again you can uh, write something more readable like this and um, <coughs> obviously uh, obviously it also runs in Cobol 2D and which is more interesting maybe for some um, the same code also runs on the Mac so if I run this one here Let's see, it's the Cobol 2D version of the Essentials project as you would expect it and there is the Mac version so you get both basically for free uh, or the Mac version for free it's just added service basically and of course um, for each chapter there's a unique workspace so um, all the projects for a single chapter go together so you also have the node hierarchy um, example project here. Um, I can quickly run this. It's just an example on how um, nodes added to other nodes behave and how they move relative to each other and some properties like fading or opacity um, aren't passed on to the children for some reason. So that's a basic example. I also wrote, I mentioned this earlier, I also wrote this uh, tutorial on how to enable ARC in a Cocos 2D project. Um, so you go have to go through all these, uh, I think it's 10, 12, 14 steps basically um, to change your 
change the Cocos 2D code into a static library and then later on um, these four steps to uh, simply convert the remaining code to ARC and then you're ready to go. Um, still it's quite a few steps and of course Cobalt 2D already has ARC enabled by default. There's one more thing that I'd like to show you. Um, it's a nice tool that I found. It's called Name Changer. Um, basically a renaming tool and I know you can use the automator or some other tool for that but I kind of like the name changer because it's straight to the point it only does changing file names and does that very well and intuitively so um, if I wanted to change the name of a couple files that I dragged in there um, I can use replace first occurrence with um, and let's change this to HDTV so and I could now just press rename and it would rename all those files um, and there are several other options um, like appending, prepending or uh, creating a sequence of numbers um, just numbers the files or adds some date or what have you regular expressions also work so um, cool tool it's free by the way if you search for it on Google it's right on the top, name changer without a space. And that's the project. Cool. Um, well, I also mentioned it's Easter. Um, there is not much else that I can say right now. Um, I will prepare a, a video tutorial for converting a Cocos 2D project to ARC. Um, this is sort of a special episode of Learn Cocos TV. I release this sometime later and um, well I also made some progress in Cobalt 2D 2.0 and Cobalt Script but there's uh, really nothing I can show yet um, so you'll have to be patient for that. Have I mentioned that it's Easter? <laughs> yeah it's a pretty short episode this time so I'll cut it short here and just say goodbye.